Okay, last thing, last thing. I gotta know how Judy died. Cow plant? <gasps> oh, perfect. That actually could not have gone better. <laughs> that just made my day. Okay, now we can go back. Hello, my friends, and welcome back to the Nightmare Legacy Challenge. So the last time we played, we had a little bit of an incident right at the end of the episode because like the entire house burned down. We had like a massive fire that for some reason I could not stop. As you can kind of see the remnants here, it burnt a lot of my home decor. Like this room is kind of ruined. Also, all my Sims have terrible needs. We've been going through a lot today. Poor Belle, it was her birthday. She just aged up. Meanwhile, she peed her pants. She almost died in a fire. And in her words, her acne is growing out of control. So she's kind of having a bit of a rough day. I did do a couple things to try and make life better for her. I went through and I gave her a new bedroom downstairs in the basement. I actually made an entire video on this bedroom because I spent like way, way, way too long on it. So if you want to go back and watch that, I'll link it down below for you. But I'll give you a quick little tour. This is what Belle's bedroom is looking like right now. We are also kind of running low on funds because I had to replace so much stuff. So we're not doing so well there. We also don't have that extra bathroom anymore because I went and got rid of it. So I'm kind of wondering if now would be a good time for us to maybe try and get one of those back. Listen, this basement is certainly not the cutest thing in the world, but it's gonna have to do. We're gonna have to make do with what we've got. I'll assign this to our apartment and I'll get us a little extra light. I know I just deleted this extra bathroom, but considering one of our bathrooms repeatedly catches on fire, it's not gonna hurt to have an extra toilet in the house, especially a harmless toilet. <laughs> It'll be real nice for us to have something like this down here. I may wait and try to add some extra stuff to it later. I'm worried about spending too much money right now. I'm scared that if I overspend, we're gonna regret it, so I won't do too much. Oh, and the toddler's outside. Oh my god. Okay, step one of today is to go through and try and fix all of our needs. We've had a rough day. It seems like most people are mostly okay, as long as we can get everything fixed up. Are you- you're mortified? Great. Imagine she dies. Oh, you're sleeping there? But I just got you a new bed. I literally just- I, I built you a whole room. <laughs> Please come to the basement. Okay, everybody's in bed. Everybody's asleep. Eve even is asleep. <laughs> <laughs> She's standing in the kitchen charging herself. Her name is Nina! Why did I call her the wrong thing again? Oh my god. Okay, well we've at least achieved a point where things are calm and safe right now. <laughs> So we can officially start the episode. My goal today is to play long enough that we can age Tinkerbell up and hopefully get May aged up too because they only have one day left. I want to get the kids older. <laughs> I want to get the kids out. Why are you not even asleep? Oh my god, I have totally failed this final child. I, I have not taken care of her needs at all because she can't even get upstairs. I'll just teleport her. What's a little cheat, you know? Really, what does it matter? Oh, she got level two. She can now climb stairs. <laughs> Too late. She's in bed. It's fine. It's 5 a.m. We're finally asleep. Okay, well, we're just gonna try and speed run some gameplay today so we can get these kids aged up and hopefully have no other serious problems. <laughs> this is episode 13 of the Legacy Challenge, so I don't really want to alarm anybody, but that can't be a good sign. <laughs> if we have bad luck on a normal day, what is this gonna mean for us today? I'm gonna have Nina start self-enhancing too, because everybody else is asleep. It takes ages, but the more we do it, the more like cool powers we get, and I want more cool powers. <laughs> Oh no, I forgot. I think our grandparents might die today. <laughs> I'm almost scared to check. Oh, days left too. Oh boy. Okay, maybe this afternoon we should have like a dinner party or something. <laughs> maybe we should try and uh, invite the family over for our final days. What are you doing climbing a ladder in your old age? That doesn't seem safe. She's going onto the roof. Oh, hold on. The kids all have school in like 20 minutes. Let me see if I can help take care of your needs real fast. Oh, and you have a loose tooth. Oh. <laughs> Do you want to pull it out? That's kind of fun. Nina has reached enhancement level five. Okay, we're gonna pee our pants, but we're off to school. Terrible fun need, everything's fine. Oh, Belle aged up so late that she doesn't have school today. Oh, that's actually really lucky. Well, if we're gonna be here all day, I might as well work on some skill building all day. I might try and grab like, I don't know, the construct a bridge so we can start getting the logic skill. Start working carefully. Now is also a good time for us to try and meet some other teens. I always make a club like this. I kind of use the club feature almost like a, a way to pretend that your sim meets people at school because otherwise they don't really frank caliente mckenna ward oh my god we have to we have to get to know mckenna ward we have to get to know judith ward's kid that's so important if we could marry into the ward family wyatt ward as well oh my god this is this is actually the move oh did you never go to school are you stuck are you kidding oh no we're fine okay they're off april has work in an hour oh that's cute 
cute. Okay, well, come back inside. You need to eat some food. What are you doing? The way she just like stands there with her arms out? That can't be right. <laughs> I find that kind of alarming actually. Okay, well, that's fine. So I'm thinking today after school, maybe we could go try, oh, tomorrow is Winterfest. Oh, that's good. Okay, so we'll have a family day tomorrow and then today we'll spend time with the teen. I, I sort of felt like I need to spend time with the grandparents before they die, but we can do that tomorrow. <laughs> We'll do that tomorrow, and today we can go try and meet some friends. I want to get to know McKenna Ward. We have a miraculous opportunity now with the Legacy Challenge being in a new save and like the original townie still being kind of around. Like Judith Ward is not dead right now, and in reality she died like 12 generations ago. <laughs> so she's got kids and we can have them marry us. We're not gonna get along with Wyatt. We have bad compatibility apparently, but us and McKenna. McKenna and Belle, their names sound cute together. We can work with that. Oh, we're already gonna earn the responsible trip. And we've been doing this for like two seconds. <laughs> That doesn't seem right. Oh, you know what we could do, actually? Speaking of the grandparents, nobody else is home. We could go visit our grandparents' house and like spend some time over there. I kept meaning to do that when we were still young and then I forgot. So <laughs> maybe I'll go over and like hang out at their house this afternoon for a little bit. In real life, this would be like so normal and so cute, but I just don't really ever make much of an effort to do that in The Sims. So it's nice to have these new townhouses because it's just easier. Like we see the family out and about more. They're around more. They're around more for now. <laughs> They only have like two days left, so they won't be around much longer, but they're around right now. Imagine I break in. No, that would be a terrible idea. Please don't do that. Dory has unlocked the workaholic lifestyle. Oh, the whole family is here? First of all, I'm sorry, but I am cheating away that workaholic lifestyle. I am absolutely not doing that. <laughs> like, there's no way. It's just so annoying. They go to work when they don't even have work. Okay, well, we have at least one grandparent here that we can talk to. Why would I take a pay cut this much? I'm being offered a job as a low orbit specialist in the astronaut career. I am level 10 Boy. as a writer. Dad. I work Dad, like two Dad. days a week. <laughs> Why would I take oh, a different job? Do we even know our grandparents? Oh, oh barely. Dad. I have to introduce myself? Oh, I have failed my sims. This was not what I intended to do. <laughs> I always have these visions of like really trying hard with my sims families and I totally ruined it. Also, that was really loud. The sound of the music just then. Well, while the kids are here, sorry I left the toddler behind. Here, mate, do you want to come play? I have like a bear for you and you can come use this if you want. Bill and August can be jokesters. Oh, this is the dream. This is the dream. This is exactly what I wanted out of this. I wanted family and that's what I've gotten. Can we take some screenshots? The gang's all here before everybody goes off and dies again. What are you doing? Hello? Okay, Tinkerbell is lost. <laughs> I thought I told you to come up here and play with this. The toddler is slowly making her way. She's doing her best. Uh oh. Did you almost die? What happened? I just saw and heard a scary noise. Honestly, April, you should probably talk to your parents. <laughs> this is your family. You should talk to them real quick. <laughs> Maybe just, you know, just in case. We'll get some last minute photos and stuff too real quick. I still have some space on my walls for some more family photos. So maybe I could try and get some of the grandparents with the grandkids. That'd be cute. What? Even the cat's here? <laughs> I brought Betty by accident. I didn't even notice I had done that. That's kind of funny. I didn't realize I brought Betty with me when I came here. Oh, this is cute. They actually look alike. I didn't really notice the, the resemblance, but that's kind of cool. Okay, well, I might leave everybody else here because I, I wanted Belle to go out and try to get to know the wards. <laughs> that was my plan for this afternoon, so maybe I will head out. I don't know where. Maybe I'll go to Del Sol Valley so it looks like I'm cool and like in the know. And we can go to Ward Park, okay? And I'll bring like McKenna and a couple of the other people that we met from school. Like Sadie was our old friend when we were young. So I'll bring them out and we'll try and get to know them a little more as teens. I also am curious to go into Cass and see what McKenna's traits are. <laughs> what do you think Judith Ward's daughter would be like? Also, who's her other parent? I, in one of my previous saves, Judith Ward got pregnant with Don the Lothario's baby, and that was like big drama to me. So I'm really curious to know about this sim. Jay Huntington? Oh my God, that's like exact same vibes. <laughs> Don Lothario and Jay Huntington have the same energy to me. Okay, well, let me quick go into Cass because I am so, so, so curious about this sim. She looks like Jay Huntington. I should have known. I, I was trying to like pinpoint it when I saw her face, but- Oh, there's a bunch of you. Wait, is Judy dead? Did you get adopted because Judy's dead? Okay, well, sorry. <laughs> McKenna wants to be a market magnet. So she wants to sell stuff that she makes. She loves art and she's a maker. Oh, that's cute. She looks like Jay Huntington. Okay, I want to give her a hairstyle. I like the hair she has now, but I'm kind of tempted to give her like, I don't know. I'm kind of trying to channel Judy with this. Oh, this has like mean girl in high school energy. Let's try that. This to me is kind of giving Regina George and I mean that in a nice way. Regina George, McKenna Ward, like it, you know. <laughs> 
makes sense actually. Maybe some pearls. Oh, oh my. Okay, that would that wouldn't be my pick for your formal outfit. I probably wouldn't have chosen that one. We'll get like a pretty pink prom dress though. I don't really care about most of your other outfits. I'm mostly just worried about your cold weather and your every day. Uh -huh. I figure we can worry about the other ones later. Oh no. Should I do tights? I like her. <laughs> I want my sim to date her, I think. I mean, I already thought that, but now I really know. Now I'm now it's confirmed. Belle and McKenna are gonna be in love. Oh, it switched me back. <laughs> Hold on, another loading screen, let's switch control again. Okay, we are officially back. Let me show off my outfit to you. Don't, no! <laughs> she dished me! Oh, my heart is broken. Start a gathering, try again. Pub gatherings are not available here? What? What? I'm sick and tired of this. This game is stressing me out. I wonder why you can't have club gatherings at the park. Doesn't that seem like it makes no sense? Okay, well, McKenna's back. I'm gonna talk to her and see if we get along. Oh, it's Luna. Hello. Should I ask her to prom as my friend? No, we should wait. We can try to, like, go to prom as a couple. We have until Saturday, so I think we'll be able to make it work. They're actually getting along quite well. The relationship bar is going up kind of fast. Don't I pressed mock body hair. I have to be more careful. I keep, like, trying to queue up interactions quick and then autonomously almost looking something really bad. The last thing I want to do is mock McKenna. Like, I'm trying to make her love me. I do not want to mock her. Maybe I'll flirt a little bit now that we've got more of a relationship bar. We're just standing out in the rain. This is terrible. Maybe I'll ask if she's single too. Compliment her appearance. She is pretty. Okay, we're talking about fish before we flirt with her. It's ridiculous. I keep pressing discuss local fishing spots. Oh, she is single. Oh, and she's running around in circles in the rain. Oh, she's cute. I like her. You are my favorite. <laughs> We met today. Oh, look. What are you wearing? Is that a helmet? Oh, it's Holly Alto. Oh, okay. I wonder what happened to her mom. I'm actually kind of curious to go and find out. <laughs> I might load into their house so I can see like on the family tree because neighborhood stories is probably what got her I think it was the Shay household that they moved into. Oh, this person has five cats <laughs> Okay, how about this you live there, but I think no I think I will move them back into oh, oh someone stole your house. I'm sorry. That's a shame They are the rightful or they are the rightful owners of the ward estate. I don't even know who those people are Oh, I pressed keep furniture. That was a mistake. <laughs> I didn't mean to do that <laughs> They're gonna have all kinds of random stuff. I don't know what what house they were living in. It could have been a starter home. Pretty soon we're gonna have to go back through and like try to fix all of the empty lots because everything's gonna be a big mess. Okay, mostly I just wanted to check on their family tree. I'm so curious to know. So it looks like Judy had a kid with Jared Shea. Oh, okay. So we do actually know these people. Maybe these are like cousins of some sort. Roger Shea. Oh, Roger Shea was the father of Jared and Pamela and Stephanie. So this guy, Roger, his his grandkid is Emmett, Emmett who was Judy's son, and he has taken in Judy's other kids when the rest of them all died. That was nice of him. Jay Huntington is still alive and evidently does not care about us enough to help raise us. Wyatt's father is <gasps> Wyatt's other mother is Summer Holiday, and she also doesn't care enough about us to take care of us. Oh my god, this is fascinating lore. <laughs> I am really interested in this actually. Oh, our house is empty. Okay, let me try and fix that too. If we're gonna have like a family that's supposed to be like the richest in the world, this is like the land grabs 2.0. Let me see if I can find one of my own renos of the ward. Oh, what's happening here? My gallery's broken. Um, hmm. <laughs> I am alarmed. It looks like other people can see that too because they're talking about it in the comments. So that's alarming. The Ward Den Reno. Oh, this is when I built Judy's house tiny. <laughs> I had a phase where I was rebuilding all of the, the EA builds, but like small. <laughs> so I made a tiny house of Judy's house. That's funny, I forgot about that. Okay, sorry. 624. Okay, hold on. Let me just do some money cheats. Judy, she was big famous when she was alive. Okay, so we have an updated version of the house. I built this a long time ago, so I don't know if it's good or not. It could be bad. It's similar to how it was before, just, you know, improved upon. So that's good. I like that. The Ward Den. Okay, last thing, last thing. I gotta know how Judy died. Cow plant? Oh, perfect. That actually could not have gone better. <laughs> that just made my day. Okay, now we can go back. <laughs> Judy died, she got eaten by a cow plant. We learned that she had kids with both Summer Holiday and Jay Huntington. That is very exciting news to me. And my beloved legacy Sam has a new almost girlfriend. So <laughs> things are off to a good start today. And to oh, tomorrow is Winterfest. I forgot about that. We should decorate. Oh my God, the constant like switching between households is so annoying. <laughs> I'm gonna send everybody home. Let's try and load back to the home lot and we'll see if this decides to work. Did she just knock on the door? I think she walked up and 
been knocked on her own front door. The Sims 4 is such a such an interesting game, isn't it? Okay, everybody, let's come back home, please. <laughs> Every single person I would like for you to return. It looks like our neighbors did decorate a little bit. Someone else put up outdoor decoration. Oh, I don't like them. I'm gonna do it myself. Where's my decor box? <laughs> Let me take this so I can pick some decorations. Take them down and let's select them ourselves. I wanna decorate the eaves first and I wanna do it with like the pretty dangly lights. I like these red, green, and white ones. Try that. I do think the icicles are cute actually. Oh, they're gone. I was gonna show you. I did like the icicles, but I think I would rather have better lights like colorful lights. I'm trying to do the eaves and also the fences. Oh, look how cute that is with the lights there. Oh, look at the lights there. We can decorate freezes too. Oh, you know, I never do this. Put them up on the freeze as well. Cause that's gonna hang up so nicely. Oh my goodness. Look at how many pretty lights we have on the house. Oh, I need to make more of an effort to actually decorate. Cause that looks so good. I wish that you could do them individually, like by townhouse. I understand why you can't and how like it just puts it on the whole building, but I really wish that you could do it individually. Cause it would be cute if we had like rainbow lights on one and icicles on the other one, but I'm overthinking it. <laughs> it's fine. It's good this way too. It's really okay. Well, before I go back into build mode, I'm just gonna quick like queue up everybody to go back to sleep because I'm worried about us not getting enough sleep. Okay, thankfully our living room was born for this. <laughs> Our living room is ready to have a Christmas tree added in. I'm gonna get the ready-made one. I do like the one that you can have your Sims decorate, but they just take so long to do it. So I'm just gonna get the pre-done one. Should we try a fun one? Like, should we try rainbow or something? Or is that too much? Oh, that's too much. I do kind of like the rainbow one. Maybe I'll try that. I'll put a wreath up too. Oh, look at how cute this little wreath looks. Oh, also, we still have birthday decorations out. <laughs> I forgot I still had those up. <laughs> we don't really need those. Birthday parties are cursed. We should stop trying to throw them. We, we really need to learn our lesson next time. Okay, I'll put the present pile there. That should be enough space for us to get around it still. And now we are appropriately decorated. I would put it like closer to the tree, but the problem is if you put it next to the tree, the Sims can't all open it that well, but we can just move it tomorrow, I guess. Is the toddler still trying to get upstairs? What are you doing? Go back, come back, <laughs> just go to bed. Also, what are you doing? I don't trust this game at all. Nina is uncomfortable and I cannot figure out what is causing it. Like I'm looking around trying to find what the mess is and I don't know. Filthy surroundings, but like what is dirty? Like, am I being so silly? Is it just that cake? Because I've tried to clean it and it hasn't worked. Nina, wash the dish. No, it was, oh, it was that. Never mind. sorry. <laughs> Ignore me. I'm, I'm not doing well today. Okay, Tinkerbell, this is a really big day for you. We get to have a really exciting Winterfest celebration. So it seems. It's supposed to start at 6 a.m. And nobody, okay, there it is. <laughs> I was gonna say, nobody has it. So every other sim usually are the ones who get the Winterfest pop-ups. There's a new bug where not everyone gets the same holiday pop-up. So not everybody gets to celebrate Winterfest. Only some of us do, I guess is what the game is telling me. Look at how pretty all of the lights look in the backyard because they're everywhere. That's so cute. This is absolutely making my day. I'm having so much fun with this right now. School starts in an hour. Liar. We don't have school today, right? Oh, I turned the day off off. No, 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 no. We, we can't go to school. We're having a holiday. We don't need to do well in school right now. That's not a problem. Look, our family club is empty. Oh my God. <laughs> Hold on. Let me try and add some people back into the family club real quick. <laughs> Cause it's just us two. Nobody's showing up. Never mind. Alexander Goth is kind of family. He's married to my brother. I mean that that objectively makes him family. I only say kinda because it's Alexander Goth. So like claiming to be related to the Goth family is kind of a you know, not sure if I want it or not kind of situation. Oh, speaking of brothers, one of them's here. Happy Winterfest. Well, do you all wanna open your presents now? I guess we could try to eat instead. Oh, you know what else we should do? Maybe I'll have Nina make us a grand breakfast or something. You wanna try? We can eat that first and then open presents. Oh, never mind. My Sims are going to school. It's snowing. It's Christmas morning. The kids are off to school, apparently. That's fine. We'll celebrate after school. My bad. Sorry, everybody. You know what? We can spend time with May because I've done a bad job of this. We can organize like a big family party for this afternoon. Here, let me organize an event for like 3 p.m. I'll call it a family reunion. I'll have us two be the hosts. And then we'll invite like all of the extended family. We're actually reaching a point where I don't have enough. Who are you? Oh, that must be our cousin. That's probably Angela's kid. Oh, yeah, we'll invite them. Okay, yeah, I'm reaching a point where I have too much family <laughs> and not really an ability to invite everyone over. Okay, we'll do the party at 3 p.m right when the kids get home. I have no memory of starting this book. I know I probably just did that last week. Cat Heroes 1. I have no memory of that. <laughs> 
I remember asking you all for book name suggestions, but I don't remember calling one of them that. And that wasn't your suggestion. That would have been mine. Look, everybody's hanging out talking in the yard. That's so cool. I think it's so fun living here with the family. I know I keep saying that, but really, this has been really fun for me. Okay, I'm gonna call everyone that's here right now to the grand meal. I'll make another one for the, the proper meal when the family's over later, but we can all come eat this grand breakfast today. I don't even like breakfast food, but I'm kind of hungry right now, so I could like really go for a grand breakfast at the moment. <laughs> I'm kind of jealous. Again! No! I'm not taking a pay cut! Rank four, level four of a career is insulting. I know I keep saying this every time, but it, like, I can't believe they keep calling me with these kind of offers. It's genuinely offensive. Okay, Dory did finish that book. I'm gonna have her come over and publish this one. And then the kids will be home in an hour. Now's probably a good time then, Nina, if you wanted to cook another one of the thingies. We can make some tofurkey as like the main family meal for later. Maybe I'll like clear up some of the furniture in the living room. I wonder if I could like scoot some stuff around. We could like scoot the table back. I could see this happening in real life, like, you know, pushing some furniture over so you've got more space for the party. Nina, here, you want to add some presents? <laughs> We've got a bunch of people coming for the holiday today. How many presents can you add? And does it keep changing? Oh, that's a giant pile. <laughs> Okay, that's good for me. Thank you. Here, do some self-repair while we wait. We only have a few minutes left. Sewage leak? No! It's Christmas! <sighs> okay, Bruce is your cousin, so you can invite him. I can't fix the- oh no, I just ignored the sewage leak. I can't go and help anybody. Who's- who was having it? Here? Tell me it's not- it's here? The sewage leak is here? No, 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 no. Quick, you have to repair this immediately. You gotta start cleaning that. Is there more up here? No, I think it was just that one. Okay, just the down downstairs toilet that everybody is going to use, of course. Look at how smelly you are! You were supposed to have a party! I know it's my fault for not bathing you before you went to school, but... Does everybody want to come open the presents? We can just get everyone to come do it. Oh, McKenna's here? Interesting. Bye. Oh no, we're crying about Christmas. <sighs> okay, everyone, we have gathered here today to open my beloved Winterfest gift. Please hurry up, because I'm really excited about it. It's almost Tinker's birthday, uh-oh. Oh, you never even bathed! They didn't even take the shower! Ugh, okay, that's fine. We'll worry about that later. The presents also glitched, so no one's opening them. I'm having a party and no one's even here. Are we gonna do it? Oh, oh, oh! Nina opened one, what'd you get? A duffel of cash! Nice! <laughs> Thanks, Santa! We got a scholarly stack. Oh, a stack of books? That's actually pretty good for you. Dory would like that. A mega couple of books. Okay, more books. Motion monitor gaming mat? Oh, that's pretty fun. We can put that in the basement. I like that idea. Okay, does everybody want to come grab a serving of the grand meal, maybe? I know some people have started eating already, but we can have everybody come and eat quick. Let me grab a couple of those things. So we officially have two new book stacks, which are genuinely really good for this. <laughs> We've got an office we're trying to work on. I can put the bag of money down there too. And then I'm thinking this gaming mat? We don't have a ton of room down here in the basement, but maybe it could go... I guess I could scoot the school project backward. Oh, this kind of makes it hard to use the basement. I'll just keep it in our inventory for now, because we can always use it later on. Oh, or you put it in the middle of nowhere. What happens if you put it outside? It, it would break out here, right? In the rain? Does it break in the snow? That one I'm not sure of. <laughs> okay, you're supposed to take photos at family reunions, which I have not really done at all. <laughs> so maybe I should buy like the camera thing and the tripod and try and get a few. We used to be way better about taking photos and I've kind of fallen off a little bit with this generation. I might face the camera towards the tree. Do you want to get a picture with- oh, you can't take them with your grandparents? Well, that's what I wanted to do is have grandparent photos. Why do you have two plates? Well, <laughs> this apparently is not gonna work how I wanted it to. <laughs> I can't get pictures with my grandparents and they're gonna die like tomorrow. You have one day left. <sighs> Okay, well, at least we had a nice night, you know? Oh, oh, you know why it is? It's because Jasmine is a celebrity, so the grandkids aren't allowed to talk to her. I have a framed photo of Judy! I totally forgot about that! I have a framed, I have two framed and signed photos of Judith Ward. That's hilarious. Oh my god. Well, now this is great, because we're trying to date her daughter. This couldn't have gone better. Oh, we gotta keep that out on the wall. That's important. Maybe I could put it in our little gallery wall over here, so it makes a little bit more sense. That's signed. I'm getting overwhelmed by the dirty plates. I'm trying to clear up a little bit. Don't worry about Barb. If you haven't watched as much of this legacy, Barb is, um, she would be Dory's aunt, um, but she is a vampire, in case that wasn't immediately obvious to you. Um, 
And so, you know, she kind of walks around all creepy like this. It just, don't worry. <laughs> just ignore her, okay? <laughs> Try not to think about it too much. <laughs> okay, I'm getting some photos of the kids up. I might get one of Tinker. Do you wanna just take a single selfie? That's kind of cringe, but it might be fun to have some like self portraits on the walls. They're so cute. I really like Tinker. I'm, I'm kind of leaning towards them being the heir still to this day. We talked about that before, but it's uh, kind of exciting to me. So, <laughs> oh, this one's really dark. Try and fix that. Oh, look at our photos. We have a wedding one and everything. I don't even know who that other kid is. Oh, that must be April and her brother. Oh, weird. I've had this save for so long. That's kind of sad to think about. Did I just hear Santa? Daddy Winter? I swear I heard a ho ho ho. Can you guys leave? Somebody's gotta have Santa. Anybody, anybody? Winterfest, anybody? I love how this place looks in the snow. In hindsight, our rooftop is like totally useless right now, but <laughs> it's still fun to have. It's, it's pretty to see like your builds across all the seasons, you know? Maybe tomorrow we can do some snowman building or something. Did you not even clean this? Ew! We had the nasty sewage leak the whole time the family was here. Oh no. Oh, there he is. He came out of the fireplace. Uh, duh, of course he did. He must just not have been here yet. Daddy Winter, I'm ready for my gifts. Well, about half the Sims have had a nice winter fest. The other half have not <laughs> because the other half didn't even get the option because of the game being glitched. What are we gonna get? Santa. What are you going to give me? Take a photo of this for the memories. Aww. Oh, in this version of the game, the original Daddy Winter is not even gone yet. That's kind of fun. That's one of those things about like coming back into an old save or like starting fresh in a new save. You get all this stuff again. I got Chaz McFreely. I'll put it on the shelf. Oh, it doesn't really fit. Okay, I'll just put it there anyway. Do you want to try? We can try and get you a Winterfest gift. It's also probably May. Yeah, it's May's birthday. <sighs> I need to age that one up. Oh, what did we get? Has it not happened yet? It's kind of a slow process. <laughs> Weird angle to take these screenshots. What is it? Come on, give me something good. Looks like they loved it. A leaf? No, it's leaf. <laughs> not just any leaf, it's this leaf. That's really funny. Maybe I'll size them down so I can put them on the shelves. They don't really fit because they're so big, but if you size it down, they'll fit. Those are fun little things to have. I used to love My Sims. That was like my first ever Sims game that I played was My Sims Kingdom. So My Sims have kind of a special place in my heart. Okay, everyone to bed, please. I really need to redo this bedroom. Like I, I really would like to get a bedroom that's more Tinker style. This room was like very much Belle's vibes, obviously when Belle was younger and I need to redo it for Tinker. I just like this room so much and we don't have as much money as I'd like to have. So I'm, I'm kind of holding off on it, even though I know that I really should redo it. But at this point, we may as well wait until they become a teen because they're gonna be a teen in one day. So we can just hold off on that a little bit longer. Uh-oh, Nina, recharge, you're gonna die. All right, pretty much everybody's going to bed. This is maybe, honestly, a good stopping point for the episode. We've, hello, are you gonna shower? Or are you just gonna stand there? This is maybe a good stopping point because next episode we can have like a birthday party redo <laughs> and we can age up both Tinker and May because they're, they're both about to age up. So we can do those both tomorrow. Plus it's gonna be a Friday, so it's a, a better time for aging up and everything so we'll have the weekend to work on skill building. So I guess if you have any ideas for what Tinker's room should look like as a teen, I'm kind of leaning towards a lot of greenery, like a lot of the plants and stuff. You know like those plant curtains? I'm kind of thinking maybe stuff like that will we'll go for a different vibe kind of. So stay tuned <laughs> and I think on that note I'm going to save my game and end the video. So thank you for watching. Have a wonderful rest of your day. I swear I'll, I'll use your book name suggestions next episode too. I only wrote one today. I was kind of slow, I was very distracted, but whatever. Sorry, sorry, bye everybody. Uh-oh, the game is taking a really long time to save. It's kind of starting to scare me. I've had a couple issues of the game crashing on saves. So that's making me feel a bit scared about what's going to happen. Oh, never mind, we're fine, it's saved. <laughs>